Okay, folks, we are here entering the final round of the second quarter. Uh, we're going to wrap things up with Chapter 4. And Chapter 4 is an introduction to functions. And before we go into the actual lesson, I want to briefly talk to you about functions themselves. This is a concept that you guys have seen in the past, but uh, it's something that, that is kind of difficult to understand unless it's taught correctly. So let me just give you uh, an idea of what a function is. And then once we get to the actual function section, hopefully by then everything clicks. Okay. Now, when you're talking about a function, okay, a function is kind of like a set formula. It's kind of like a set formula. Okay? And in a formula, you have what's called dependent variables and independent variables. All right? You have what's called dependent variables and dependent variables depend on the x value. Okay? Dependent variables are always going to be the y value. And we're talking about x and y please try to go back in time. Remember, you have an x-axis and a y-axis. The x-axis contains all the x values. Those x values are the independent values. All the y values on the vertical axis are the dependent values. y depends on x, okay, in a function. And then you have what's called the independent variables or variable and an independent variable is the x value okay it is the x value comma which depends on nothing it's independent independent think about dependent and independent with you and your parents you are dependent on your parents. You need them to pay for your school, to pay for your food, to pay for your clothes, to take you to school, to take you shopping, to take you to the doctor, to feed you. Okay? You depend on your parents. Now, your parents are independent. They have a job. They earn money. They don't depend on anybody. They don't have their bills paid for by anybody. They work, they earn their money, and they, they're they independent. They take care of themselves and, all, and their family. So think of it that way, all right? You have an independent and a dependent. Now, a good example of a function, just so you can understand this concept, is kind of like when you go to the movie theater, okay? Movie theater nowadays is 10 bucks a, a ticket, right? So the formula, okay, the cost okay, of going to the movies equals $10 times every ticket. So doesn't the total cost depend on the total number of tickets that you purchased? Guys, does the cost depend on the total number of tickets you purchased? Okay. Does the total number of tickets depend on the cost? No. So my cost, which is dependent, is Y. Equals $10 times X, where X is the independent. You know me, I like to label things. Y equals cost. X equals number of tickets. Now, this is a function. And I'll tell you why it's a function. Let's say we just have a random set of different possibilities of purchases throughout the weekend. A lot of couples go to the movies, so if you buy two tickets, it's going to be $20. Sometimes you'll see people just go by themselves, so if they buy one ticket, it's $10. Sometimes the whole family goes. 
There's five tickets. It's fifty dollars. Does that make sense, guys? Now, here's the important part of the function. Let's say that I go with my family and I go with five people and I pay fifty dollars. But now, John comes up with his family of five, and they charge him sixty dollars. Is that possible? Is it possible for them to charge me 50 but him 60? No. Do you see how you have two different dependent variables or values for the same dependent, uh, independent variable? Let me re repeat that. You have two different y values or dependent values for the same x value or independent value. Whenever you have two different y's for the same x, that is not a function. So in order for there to be a function, you can only have one y value for any given x value. In this function, when you buy five tickets, it's $50, period. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. If I go in and, and, and I buy five, it's 50. If Johnny comes in with five people, it's 50. If Nancy comes in with five people, it's 50. Okay? You cannot have different Y values for the same X value. You cannot have different Y values for the same X value. You cannot have different Y values for the same x value. Sir. <laughs> no. What the, the question was, what happens if you do have 5 for $60? Does that mean the 60 is independent? No, no, no. That means that this is not a function. It's not a function. They're just randomly choosing to charge you whatever they do. It's kind of like when you go to McDonald's or Burger King. You go to McDonald's, I don't know what it is, I'm just pulling this number out of my head. Uh, Big Mac is three fifty now. If I go and buy a Big Mac and it's three fifty, great. But then the dude behind me, he buys a Big Mac. Can they charge him four fifty? No. no. Because it's a function. A function is a set formula. And you cannot have different Ys for the same X. For example, if you saw a table and I have X values. And I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. And I just say 6, 8, 10, 12, 7. Can I have two different Y values for the same X value? So that's not a function. So we haven't even really got into the section on function. Okay? I just wanted to give this to you now to set the tone for functions. Give me one second, my man. So again, a function, okay? A function is where basically a formula, a formula where you can only have one Y value for any given X value. So again, one last time. This is a function. One, three, two, five, three, seven, one, three. Do you see that when X was one, Y was three? When x is 1 again, y is 3. That's a function. Every time that x is 1, y will be 3. Forever. Because it's a function. Now, if I give you this same exact number scheme, but I go 1, 3, 2, 5, 3, 7, 1, 8. Can I have two different y values? For the same x? No. So this would not be a function. Yes, sir. <laughs> if I gave you a table, 
and I gave you this function right here, okay? Since you have two different y values for the same x value, this is not a function. You cannot have different y's for the same x in a function. You had a question, sir? No, it does not go the other way around. When we get into function section, we'll go over all the ins and outs of it. But right now, what I want in your heads is for you guys to realize that a function is a set formula where you can only have one y value for any given x. Think about the movie example. If you go with five people, it's got to be $50. And if every single human on earth follows behind you and gets five tickets, it has to be $50. You cannot have different Ys for the same X. Are you with me? You got a question, sir? Yeah, no, no. Now, just since you're asking so much about the other way around, yes, it can. This is a function. Look. Six, 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 six. That is a function. You can have different x's for the same y. That is a function. But we'll get into all of the intricacies of functions later. I just wanted to set the tone, okay? Especially with the whole independent and dependent. Because on that note, guys, we can read graphs okay and look at changes in graphs and interpret them by understanding independent and dependent variables for example let's say I have the following let's say I got volume here and time here this is coming from example one in your book on page 249 Okay, um, and then they give you the following. Ah, I messed up. Okay, let's look at what's happening here. The graph shows the volume, volume, you know, being space taking up of an air of air in a balloon as you blow it up until it pops what are the variables describe how the variables are related at various points on the graph okay well first of all what are the variables here okay not so many answers please time is a variable yes good job good job guys Time is always independent. Time depends on nobody. So that's my independent variable. And then volume is also a variable, but volume depends on how much time you've been pumping it. So volume is dependent. So first of all, that's what we just finished talking about, dependent and independent. Yes. Yes. I never said the only thing that can be independent is time. I never said that. I said time is always independent, though. Yes? I just told you, time depends on nobody, on nothing. Volume, the amount of air in something, doesn't it depend on how long you pump it? This is not going to be Mickey Mouse, like, just add or subtract to find the answer. You're going to have to actually think about this guys time I'm letting you know right now it's a freebie time is always independent whether you are happy mad sad glad or afraid in good shape in bad shape getting good grades making a lot of money no matter what is happening to you time is passing time depends on nothing but the volume of a balloon, how much air is in a balloon, it depends on how long you pump it for. If you give it one pump, you're not going to have much volume. If you pump it for 10 minutes in a row, you're going to have a lot of volume. Yes, sir. 
Wouldn't seconds and minutes be time, sir? Yes, time would include such things as days, years, months, weeks, seconds, hours, minutes, decades, yes, all that. Anything that has to do with time. Now, what's happening here in this in this graph? Well, let's go section by section, okay? From the start to right here. What what was happening there? <clears throat> yeah, you're pumping air, right? You're pumping air, right? So you're pumping air. It, you could, if you were pumping with your mouth, you'd be blowing air. But when you're pumping, you're using a pump, sir. So you're pumping air, okay? So volume increases. Now, from here to here, is the volume increasing? So what's happening here? Yeah, you're taking a break. Okay? Time is passing, though, isn't it? Whether you're pumping air or you're taking a break. Now what happens from here to here? Exactly. You're pumping more air. Volume's increasing. What's happening from here to here? That's right. Break again. What happens from here to here? This section right here. Volume is increasing. You're pumping air. What happens from here to here? You take a break. What happens from here to this pinnacle? You're pumping again. Now, let's see who's really paying attention. What happens in this straight drop? Very good. The balloon popped. What happens to the air immediately when the balloon pops? It deflates. So it deflated very quickly. Did everyone understand how we broke that graph down? And again, this, this is not unfortunately, oh, just follow the procedures that Mr. Morrow told you. No. You've got to be able to define the independent variable. You've got to be able to define the dependent variable. And then you have to figure out how they relate to each other. Okay? All right. Let me give you another example. May I? Thank you. Okay. What if I give you this? And we have here board length. And by a board, I'm not talking about a chalkboard, I'm talking about a board of wood. Maybe a 2 by 4 or a 4 by 8 or a 3 by 6. It's a piece of wood, a board. You buy a board at Home Depot, for example, you know, whatever. Uh, f 4 inches by 6 inches by 12 feet, for example. Okay? You buy a long board. What's happening here? Okay, what? <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Okay, someone said they're cutting it. That's great. But when and where are we cutting it? First of all, what's the independent variable? Okay, whoever said the board, that's wrong. Time and, and the board is not even a, a variable. Dependent is the length, okay? The length of the board depends on the time. Because it's how much time it's been taking to cut it off. So what's happening from here to here? Yeah, it's staying the same, but look at what happens at the end of this period. So here, thank you. Here you're just cutting. You're sawing. Unless you're like Superman, you can't cut it in, you know, instantaneously. So it takes time to cut it. Now what happens from here to here? Yes, exactly. A piece falls. Exactly. Very good, gentlemen. Excellent. And then that's going to happen continuously. From here to here, I'm cutting. From here to here, piece falls. From here to here, I'm cutting. From here to here, a piece falls. 
And then now, it just stays the same. So what happens in this last section? Thank you. Thank you. You stop cutting. You're done. So that piece is going to stay the same length forever now, isn't it? Does that make sense, guys? Okay. Unless someone cuts it. Yes. But that's not what we're showing here in the graph. So thank you guys for adding in your own soundtrack. I appreciate it. Okay. Now, example three. Okay. They give you the following. They give you a day and total downloads. Okay. And it says here, a band allowed fans to download its new video from its website. The table shows the number of downloads after one, two, three, four days. Which graph could represent the data shown in the table? So you got one, two, three, four, and the total number of downloads were 346, 1,011, 3,455, and 10,400, 10,426. Now, they don't give you numbers, okay? They just give you a sketch. But we can draw a sketch as well. First of all, which would go on the, on the x-axis? The day. Very good, because day is part of time, and the day is independent. So the x value here is the day, and that's independent. What's the dependent, y value? That's exactly right, gentlemen, total downloads okay now the days we can pretty much you know day one day two day three day four but they're not even giving us numbers they just want you to have a sketch so day one let's do it about here day two almost triples it right so like go like about there um day three triples it again and day four about triples it again so that would be a good estimate of what this graph could look like. I didn't say graph it exactly. I just wanted to see if you could sketch the graph. And what's happening here is, as the days go on and on and pass, there are more downloads. Does that make sense, boys? Yes, sir. Can I get it? Wouldn't it be a curve? Why? No, I don't think it's going to be a straight line because it's not, no, it won't be a straight line. It, I, I, it won't be a curve either because that would mean that it's a function. This is not a function yet. Yes, sir. I'm oh, sorry. I think you had a question, sir. Okay. Now, last thing we got to learn here today is how to put it all together. So, for example, four, we're going to use problem three from page 251. Okay. Let me set this up. Time in seconds. And this is height in feet. Okay, now, it says, a model rocket rises quickly and then slows, down, slows to a stop as its fuels burn, uh, burn, burn out. It begins to fall quickly until the parachute opens, after which it falls slowly back to Earth. What, what sketch of a graph could represent the height of the rocket during its flight? Okay. Time is passing and height depends on how, how much time has passed. So let's go back to the beginning. A rocket rises quickly. So it shoots up. That's part one. I uh, did that in red. Now, so, so this, this part here, it rises quickly. Then it says, and then slows to a stop as its fuel burns out. So it goes, and then once it stops, it's going to start dropping, right? So this peak right here, Okay, um, you, you could say yes, it's the climax of the rocket event, yes. Or you could just say that it, it stops rising. Stops rising. Okay, now, once it stops rising, 
Uh, it says it begins to fall quickly. Okay, so this is this part. Falls quickly. However, however, while it's falling quickly, until a parachute opens, after which it falls slowly back to earth. No, well, it'd be a, a quick dip like here, and then it'd kind of like angle off at a constant rate. Because once you're, once you're dropping already from here to here, yep, the parachute opens. And then you start falling slowly back to earth. You, you, you fall at a constant speed. So you fall slowly. Does that make sense here, guys? This is the homework tonight. You're going to be finding out what is independent, what's dependent, reading different sections of graphs, and sketching different graphs. Remember the back of your mind what a function is. A function is kind of a set formula where there is only one y value for any given x value. Homework is valid. If you didn't do your prep books over the weekend, make it up today. God bless you and have a great day. When the bell rings, you are dismissed.